central retinal vein occlusion is generally known as in a short form CRVO. It is a block or occlusion in the main vein of the retina and retina being the most important layer of the eyeball any pathology in this layer will lead to low, loss or decreased vision. So here the central vein is the main outflow of the venous blood from the ocular system mainly from the retina. So if there is a blockage in this vein there will be sudden arrest of the uh, venous blood outflow. So anyway there will be a um, serious pathology in the retina. The first and foremost symptom uh, this sign is leakage from the vein that is hemorrhage and it is typically uh, seen by even with an ophthalmoscope. Vast blood flow will be there. The main reason for this is hyperlipidemia that means increased cholesterol level in the blood and another is calcium deposits and the third one is related to platelets count in the bloodstream. Among these, the uh, first and third that is cholesterol level and the platelet uh, in abnormality are related to blood and vasculature. Whereas this calcium deposit and the calcium related blockages from the heart itself, mainly from the cardiac valves. All these are uh, giving same impacts in the vessel so that the change that happens in the venous um, vasculature and related signs and symptoms will be same. And this can be considered as an ocular stroke just like a stroke in other um, structures. So it is considered to be an ocular emergency because it is onset will be sudden and uh, the symptoms also is very serious just like a highly decreased vision or some even loss of vision. This is the uh, main conditions. Uh, it can be considered as two forms are divided into two. One is ischemic and second is non-ischemic type of, of uh, occlusions. Ischemia means loss of blood supply to that area or becomes uh, anemic and uh, other one is there will not be that much uh, uh, lack of uh, blood in that area then it is known as non-ischemic. So compared, when we compare these two situations ischemic type is more, uh, more serious because the Degeneration of the cells will be easy and more prominent in that group. The change, the reason is same, only some difference in the treatment sites will be there. And for the purpose of treatments in Ayurveda, I am only talking about Ayurvedic line of treatments. We have to analyze the situation on the basis of Ayurvedic theory, that is theory of Vada, Pitta and Kaba. Blood vessels and blood is confined to the main dosha pitta. So any blockage or any pathology or any hemorrhage, everything is considered as the vitiation due to the vitiation of pitta. So we have to consider pitta as the vitiated prominent dosha in the case of venous occlusion. And one more thing we have to consider that is the, the particular pathology block and the among the quality or the property of pitta movement or flowing is the main uh, main factor this is vitiated this is uh, this is not happening in the case of occlusion so another factor will come there to to make this particular property inactive that dosha is kaba so we can say the kaba dosha is vitiating pitta in the case of venous occlusion. So the aim of the treatment anyway is to remove the block and to make the flow normal.
for that we have to um, remove the kava from pitta that will be the basic line of treatments and in ayurveda it is not the the aim is not to remove that block locally from that point we have to maintain the circulation so that the possibility of further blockage or accumulation of this uh, blocking substance it should be prevented that is the perfect treatment for that two steps are necessary one is to remove the block locally second is to maintain the circulation and avoid the possibility of further blockages for that treatment also will be in two steps one will be kaba shodhana shodhana means anything to be removed or eliminated anything means any unwanted or unnecessary it may be pathogens or toxins or accumulations whatever it may be to remove it from the uh, that particular site that is known as shodhana chikitsa here that is necessary to remove the unwanted accumulation of kaba in that particular area second is anilomana anilomana chikitsa that is to make the flow normal it may be uh, the flow of the pitta or whatever it may be anilomana means anilomana to make it normal path to bring it to the normal path for that vada also is necessary that is third point i will uh, say later so to make the blood flow normal we have to con- normalize the pitta function these are the two steps there are very high, uh, highly effective treatments and the treatment procedures and also these uh, drugs medicines to achieve this goal that means the treatment will not be localized in the ophthalmic medication only to make the blood flow normal we can very well uh, think that it is not a simple of thalamic application there should be oral medication and uh, to remove the block mainly from that local portion for that of thalamic medication is absolutely necessary and to avoid further accumulation treatment on the head vascularity of the head region also is necessary so the combined action of these three types of medications one is oral medication second is Uh, inside the eye that is ocular medication third is the medication so treatment procedures on the head these three steps are necessary in the treatment of central venous occlusion so we have to consider one more factor here that the any movement or any transit or changes from one place to another place that is due to vata and here there is one particular vata known as vyana vayu that is to be considered here and that the seat of that particular fraction of vada is in the heart there is a term in ayurveda vyano hrudhi sthida and it is circulating and it is moving all over the body so something which is moving all over the body in that particular system there will be the involvement of this vyana vayu and blood circulation is the main among them so we have to may normalize we have to bring the action pro- or properties of vada to normal that also is necessary in the treatment of this particular pathology so remove the uh, blockage by kabashodhana treatments and make the blood flow normal by the pitta shamana treatments and uh, make the movement of the circulation normal by vada shamana chikitsa this is the underlying line of treatment in the case of central venous occlusion there are some risk factors in the case of the development of this uh, disease and uh, main among them is one is high level of cholesterol increased level of cholesterol in the blood so the, so that there will be possibility of accumulation on um, especially in the vessel walls under his age in the it above 55 or about 60 there will be a tendency of the weakening of the vasculature and also narrowing of the blood vessels so the possibility of blockages 
uh, more when compared to youngsters. Then another factor is hypertension. In the hypertension always there will be some changes in the vascular structure of the uh, especially of the main veins. So, any change in pathology will be easily developed. Another one is uh, diabetes. For a diabetic patient, there also there is involvement of mainly microvascular system of the body. And when it comes to the retinal vascular, uh, vascularity, it is uh, it comes under the microvascular system. So, the being narrow vessels and uh, highly sensitive and being delicate, these types of blockages will be easy uh, in that area. Anyway, it is a medical uh, emergency, especially ocular emergency, but rarely there is a chance of resolution by itself. That means that block may be dissolved by itself or the leaked blood may be absorbed, but it is a rare chance. So, do not wait for a long period um, to check whether there is it is possible or not because by the time sometimes the retina may be get degenerated and uh, lead to permanent uh, loss of vision and uh, once it is happened there is another chance to form collateral vessels just like in any other part of the body and that vessels will be anyway more delicate and tendency of bleeding also will be more so anyway get it treated as early as possible and once it is happened and it is getting little uh, solved by itself the possibility of recurrence also is there so we had to take precautionary measurements and uh, steps to avoid further development that includes control of cholesterol and uh, control the sugar level in the blood that means control of diabetes like that also hypertension is the most important uh, factor and uh, regular checkup for diabetes and hypertension and cholesterol is absolutely necessary and uh, control it with the medicines then further occurrence will be prevented to a great extent so in the case of treatment an apt knowledge about the reason is very important so, we have to rule out the cardiac problems first. That is, an, uh, it should be done in an emergency level, whether there is any tendency for further blockage. For that, in a friend, more technology is now available and it should be done. And if a sudden loss of vision happens and all other conditions are normal, then it is another step. We have to remove the block by just I told Kabashamana Chalisa. For that, the treatment will be more important on the head region and that type of to remove the deposits and to maintain the vasculature that is possible in Ayurveda. And if it is related to only the vessel walls, there we have to do another type of treatment that is I just like told Pithasamana Chikilsa, that also is possible in Ayurveda and uh, there we have to consider the vessel walls also to maintain the texture or the vasculature of the blood vessels is very very important mm -hmm. that can be done by shirodhara or uh, locally netradhara like that treatment procedures are there there we have to select those medicines or those drugs which have particular action in the ocular system that is known as chakshushya uh, group that type of drugs and the medicines only should be selected for the treatment of this particular um, purpose then if you are doing all these things in time and doing some precautionary methods or precautionary measures to avoid further occurrence then the treatment will be highly successful.